Okay. Okay. So next segment, let's keep the show rolling. Um next segment is called Same Difference. Um, when I was a little girl, I used to say that to my mom all the time when I would like mistake one thing for another. And she'd be like, no, it's not like that. And I'd be like, same difference. Um, tomato, tomato, that kind of thing. Same difference. So, um, it's something that sticks with me and has stuck with me, I feel like, my entire life is same difference. Is yeah, that's not exactly the same, I guess, but no, it is the same difference. Um, so, on this segment of Same Difference, I really wanted to talk about spirituality because um, I'm me. And I feel like I am a spiritual person, a spiritual being, having a human experience um, in 20, what year is this? 2022. And it's things that I understand are not related to physical touched because that's what physical is physical is things you can touch you can't touch my ideas until i make them real you can't touch love until you fucking and made that baby out of love but you couldn't touch love the same at first um so all that being said and in relation to spirituality um i think about culture and how each society, race, races in a certain area, races of a social class, races of a certain time period all have a culture. And every culture has a religion or a spiritual, spirit, uh, a spirit, a spirit, spirituality. Ooh, honey, the way my words is on top of each other. Or even some type of tradition that is just related to spirit and i think that that's so interesting because in christianity they call them lord god and 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 muslims call them allah like everybody has a god the only thing that makes your god different than my god is interpretation and vernacular words Words and interpretation are the only thing that makes my God different than your God and your God different from their God and their God different from us. And I think that that's interesting because like vernacular and in interpretation, like those two things are based off cultural understanding. I understand what those words mean because those are words I've run into before. It's hard to explain something that no one has ever experienced. It's hard to explain something that they don't have a word for in your culture, in your language, in your vernacular. It's hard to, if we don't use the word God, but we use the word Allah. The only difference is that Allah, Yahweh, that means God to us. Uh, because that's our vernacular. So it's like very interesting to me how like people of different spiritual traditions or religions often beef like, oh, my God is better than your God. Who's all to say that they're not all the same God? interacting with us on where we at as a person as a people and i think about that sometimes because like for me i don't subscribe to any sort of religion um and i subscribe to spirituality but i understand that spirit is way limitless than our brains as humans could even understand um, and I say that because spiritually, spirit is limitless. It's not confined to gender or race or t 
time or capitalism or physicality. Spirit is limitless. Not bound to any physical category. Not man, not woman. Not girl, not boy. Not black, not white. Spirit? Spirit? The, the, the spirit of the universe. Spirit. Like... The spirit that gives you the chills at church or when you hear something that applies to your life or when you get a message that you know is for you. Spirit, spirit, like the spirit that transcends time, the spirit that who spirit is not limited to what we limited to as people. Spirit not limited to that. It's not. It's not limited to words. Like sometimes because I'm aware that I'm a spiritual person having a human experience. Sometimes my spirit feel things my body don't understand. And I let my spirit do its thing because I understand that I'm a spiritual person having a human experience. Um, all I can relate it to or compare it to is if you've ever seen the movie The Giver or read the book, um, the first half of the movie is in black and white because they didn't learn color. It wasn't something. So it's in black and white to show you that the entire community didn't understand color. They had never felt red because you can feel red, but you can see red and you can taste red and you can feel it. They never felt it. They had never seen it. They had never experienced red. And I feel like you can't you can't explain to somebody what red is who ain't never seen red before. Like and not just seeing red as in anger, but seeing red as in the color. Never seen a red apple. Never felt a rose. Never Seeing blood from babies or from periods because that red sends different levels of emotion through you. So then you felt red if you've seen red. But if you ain't never seen red, if you ain't never got outside of your physical body and felt you and had your spirit move before then this segment is going to go over your head, unfortunately, because you ain't never felt spirit. And that's not no demeaning to you, but their life, you, life is one great thing about living is experiencing. Experiencing spirit is another level. Being told information about things that have not yet occurred and them occurring exactly as you was told will make you believe in spirit in ways that you never going to see unless you experience that. Feeling spirit, feeling the chills of spirit. You, if you felt it before, you felt it before and you know. Um, I can like, I grew up non-denominational and uh, non-denominational Christian and I used to get chills. When people used to run at church, I used to get chills. Be like, whoo, down my back. When people used to run. And if you ever been to a black church, you know we run. They get to running. And it's crazy because then ancestrally that's called a ring shout. And black folks been ring shout since the continent. But black church baby they the music get the going and they get the running and baby i would get chills chills be ready to cry and ain't nothing wrong chills and spiritually the older i got the more i matured in spirit and in truth of myself the more I understand and understood spirit more. So then as I went on my own spiritual journey, it led me to understand and see spirit in another light that I know. And I learned. I learned that spirit is so limitless. 
way more limitless than who than we can ever give it credit for because we as people are sticklers for categories titles names wording vernacular oh that's not how you say that but do you feel me though you know what i'm saying but that's just me so same difference spirit is spirit regardless of religion tradition and sometimes i feel like that's why people change from one tradition or religion to another because their spirit was calling for something else for something that could feed them more than they was being fed by the limitations imposed by people's spiritual religious or traditional regulations like and that not no shame to people's religions or sp traditions or spirituality nothing that's not no shame sometimes people don't identify with the regulations but they identify with the way that spirit make them feel and that's cool i i grew up christian my whole life i can probably say i'm not no christian i am not no christian and that's not no shame to christianity that's not no hate like my ancestors are christian i have a bible i like I, I still pray, I read the Bible, like, but I don't identify as Christian. I am not limited to the confines and regulations of Christianity, even though I understand the value it has brought to my community and to my people. And it ain't nothing wrong with that. But I still, my son will tell you, I got a praying mama. Yes, you do. Because prayers are not... Christianity, Western religions do not own prayer. Prayer? You do not own that. No one owns that. Prayer is just simple communication with spirit. Baby, I pray. Like, so, I just think it's interesting. I think it's interesting like in so many aspects because like if you really think about it every religion tradition spirituality they all have some type of pedestalized or idolized or visionary aspects and i want to say visionary um, I mean, more like visual aspects so whether it be saints or deities or or orishas or any, any, every, I feel like every, everybody got some type of physical representation that they use to show their, 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 their guides, their spiritual guides, their spiritual, whatever you will call it. Um, even like spiritual routines or prayers or traditions or rituals or workings or mojos or whatever everybody got a name for the work they do in their practice everyone got a place for where they go whether it's a mosque whether it's a church whether it's a temple whether it's in a uh what's it called in a lot of you know a house or uh or there's so many there's so many and so many differences but so many similarities and we get so caught up on the differences of well i i have a temple and i go to a temple and i go to a house it doesn't matter where you go. You're reverencing your spirits. And it should be a be about that. Because if we acknowledged the spiritual part of us all, then we would probably have a little bit more humanity towards each other. It would be easier to love each other because we would all be able to give each other the benefit of the doubt a little bit more. Because we would acknowledge like, oh, you are spirit. Figuring out your spirit. Having a human experience. Trying to figure out your body. In this same world, that's crazy as hell. Okay, cool. I could cut you a little slack. I know it's a little tough. Period. It's literally that simple. But I think sometimes we get caught up on lingo that we forget. We forget what we made of, where we come from, who we are. That we all wanted to say. We get so caught up on, oh, well, you're black. 
you white, you Asian, blah, blah, blah. Not realizing like, we all spirits in physical bodies. You literally might not even been black five lifetimes ago. You really probably have some different type of ancestors mixed up in you. And there's nothing wrong with that. So if we cut each other a little slack on what we look like and the vernacular and the category and we acknowledge spirit, y'all will be saying same difference to shit.